Hello, everyone. Gemini Cross Watchers, thank you guys so much for joining in. Today we are going to do an As Above, So Below tarot reading for the sign of Gemini. If you enjoy the message, find the message resonates, um, feel free to like the video or comment below or subscribe to the channel. Everyone's always welcome. Also, if you would like a chance at a free personal reading or to book a personal reading, the information is in the description box. So let's get started here. We're going to do um, this spread a little bit differently. We are going to place a card in each placement from two different decks and then decipher the message. So unity is the hierophant so we have that there is that Seven of Swords is popping out. I'm going to put it back in the deck and see if it comes back out after I'm done shuffling. If it's meant to be, it'll be, right, Gemini? So let's look here. Let's look and see. I feel like there's a lot of things that you're learning or have learned in, in the past but I feel like it took you a while to learn. It took you a minute to go through this process. Ultimately, it prepared you for your soul's purpose. But I feel like you're not seeing something clearly. I feel like there was an ending in a situation. Um, that this very well could have been relationships. Um, and this could have been a long-standing relationship as well. But I feel like this relationship has already ended and you're still kind of um, hammering over this. And I feel like this ended a while ago, like at least a couple years back. I feel like this didn't happen recently, okay? So let's just take this one by one um, and go and go through it as above, so below, right? So what to prepare for, what's going to strengthen you? Um, what to prepare for is this passionate, this passionate relationship. Um, I feel like this is a soulmate connection. This is somebody that you're very connected to. Um, and you may not even understand why you guys have this connection. But I really get the sense here, um, that this person will be very charming, very confident, very passionate. They may also be a fire sign because the Prince of Spring is fire energy. What your past situation was preparing you for was this ultimate love connection, this soulmate connection, um, as well as bringing you closer to your soul's purpose. I want to say that this person that's coming in, or you may have already met this person, may just be friends, this may be a past lover, um, it may be somebody brand new. 
as well. Whatever the case may be here, Gemini, this person is, you guys are meant to be on the same path, I feel like, on the same, doing the same, helping people, um, teaching people, a higher sense of knowing, a higher sense of learning. Because the Hierophant is like a spiritual leader, um, a spiritual teacher, somebody who um, is a consultant, somebody who guides people along their spiritual path, right? The Hierophant also symbolizes your soul's purpose. Um, I feel like that's where you're headed because the Hierophant came out twice for advice for your future. Okay, so I really feel, Gemini, the energy that I'm picking up here is a person who's supposed to guide people along their spiritual path, guide people along their journey, their self-discovery journey, their self-healing journey, um, maybe building a community of like-minded people, doing the right things for the right reasons, okay? what to embrace in this life with the ace of summer this card tells me that you need to work on opening up um i feel like you're still a little guarded from your past situation um this card also symbolizes awakening of psychic abilities so these two kind of go hand in hand with me, to me. Um, it's telling me that you're being awakened to this journey, right? To help people. I also get the sense that this is going to bring balance into your life. It may also help you helping other people is going to help you heal the last little bit of hurt, a little bit of sorrow that you're still trying to. I feel like, Gemini, one thing that you may struggle with is forgiveness. Um, forgiving people for hurting you because it takes a lot for a Gemini to be fed up, right? So if you're in this place of you don't ever wanna talk to somebody again or you don't ever wanna see somebody again, it takes a lot to bring you out of that place. And I feel like this is something that you need to work on letting go. This is no longer serving you. Um, it's something that I'm working on myself. I'm not going to lie. Forgiving people from the past, is they say, isn't for them. It's for yourself and all this other stuff. <clears throat> I just rather not talk to them again. But I feel like what this reading is saying, Gemini, is your perspective needs to change about this. How you end things so abruptly and so dramatically. Um, there's better ways of handling these situations. I'm hearing it's time to take the blinders off. It's time to look at the situation more realistically. Um, we want to look at the best, the good in people, the best in people. People change, right? But there's a need to acknowledge that some people's actions are dishonest. Not everybody is going to hold an integrity in, within themselves. They're not going to hold their standards up to that level of integrity that you do. So looking at things in a broader perspective, instead of like cutting people off with a swift sword like Gemini's do, um, maybe just releasing it no longer talking again, right? Not even responding.
Now for new paths that are coming in, we have the Princess of Winter and the King of Cups. Um, so this tells me that there's going to be some information that comes in that's going to it's going to be pertinent in the moving the movement forward from this it's also going to cause you to practice a little bit of forgiveness but understand that everything happens for a reason. And I do get the sense that you've grown from this past situation to where you will be able to handle this situation more just diplomatic, like from a realistic perspective, like, okay, yep, that's what it is. Also, Work on emotional intelligence, um, becoming more in tune with your emotions. Know exactly how you feel and be able to communicate that clearly to another person. I really get the sense here, Gemini, that it's been a rough year. Um, there's been some things that you've probably released. You didn't ever think we're gonna leave your life. And there's probably been some people that you've met that have helped change your perspective, even if they've only been for a brief moment. And I get the sense that, you know, most Geminis every year we say, this is our year, this is our year. But I really get the sense here, Gemini, that this process is coming to an end. And it's going to give you a better understanding of why things have happened in the past, the way that they have, once you've fully come into your soul's purpose, into this, this future leader, spiritual guidance counselor, whatever you want to call it, you're coming into your power. So understand that the things that you've gone through have all led you to this place that you are now. You wouldn't be able to guide people along their path if you didn't go through the things that you had. So let's get some psychic tarot out here, Gemini, to... Um, See what we can see. Authority is the emperor symbolizes organization, structure, abundance, abundant lifestyle. The Hierophant. We have the Hierophant coming out in every deck, Gemini. O-M-G. I definitely get the sense here that you are coming into this um, higher sense of wisdom, higher sense of learning, okay? The person who is going to come into your path is definitely going to be a spiritual leader as well. They're going to help you, help guide you through this transition. 
And I do feel like this is a spiritual union, even though we don't have a spiritual union card coming out in the reading. I do with both the Emperor and the Empress. That's what these two are in this deck. Um, now, I feel like, Gemini, you have not met this person yet. Either you have not met this person or you, this is somebody from your past that you're not, you're not communicating with right now because of your outlook on this. Take some time to watch the review and release video. I know I've been saying that a lot lately, but I really do feel like that content will really help you to release this. Um, and change your perspective. Maybe watch some videos on forgiveness, how to go through that process. I'm trying to figure that out myself. So when I get that down well enough to be able to reveal that message to you, I will create a video on um, forgiveness. However, that is something I struggle with myself. And so I can only recommend the videos that I watch for my own personal healing and growth process. So Gemini, rest, rejuvenate, um, release the way you're thinking about this situation because it's definitely holding you back from reaching this level. So Gemini, that is the message I have for you. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. Please go through this process because we, the world could use more healing. If everybody was a spiritual healer, a spiritual leader, this world would be an amazing freaking place. OMG. So take this time, release this perspective, um, try and see things from the other person's shoes. Also, maybe ask somebody's opinion that have no ties to the situation, what they think and give them the story practically. Don't only focus on your side or the other person's side. Give them both parts to the story so they can give you their honest opinion. I do feel like you are on the right path here, Gemini, and you are very close to this soul's purpose. Your soul's purpose is a spiritual leader. It's time. So thank you, Gemini, so much for all your love and support. Thank you for liking and subscribing. That's the message I have for today for you. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.